the leaf valve has been leaking for a while. It's got antifreeze in the system. See what it does to the rubbers. This is leaking too in that little bucket there. I'm gonna put a new nine, new um, 911S in here. We'll drain it down. We'll change the relief valve. I want to put a new expansion tank and a new high vent. This one's still okay, but antifreeze eats rubbers, so we're going to change that. We're going to drain it down and put new antifreeze in it. So I got the boiler off. I got my pump here. We'll start draining it. There's a shower over there that's going in. I'm going to check how acidic it is also. See, it's a sit exit. It's gonna be changed. If it's good, it's in the green. You can see it's definitely needs to be changed. stuff. We'll do all three zones. We'll flush it with all the water. Then we'll drain it out and put any freeze in there. I don't know how long ago I put any freeze in the system, but it was, um... Some time ago, I've been telling this guy he needs to change it. In a while, I'm all out. I 
can check it with this. Now the old tank was still good, but I changed it. See, now I'm going to be putting it new antifreeze in it, new high vent, new tank, new high vent here on the return for the, the basement. Um, new 911s. Just flushing it good with the water so I can get all that old shit out of there. I won't drain the boiler down and we'll, we'll fill it with the antifreeze. Doing the last one here, flushing it. Alright, guys, I got it all drained out. I got three hills of one of my returns going into the bucket. I got this sucking out of that bucket and then going into the boiler drain in the bottom there. So I'll put any freeze in there, suck out of that through this pump into the supply, into the boiler, up the supply, back the return, and I'll get rid of the air right here. I'll do one at a time. Leave one open for now and we'll do all the rest. So that's gonna be my feed bucket right there. I'll probably bring the bucket out here and put the pump on the other side and make it easier for me.
I got it off there, I got it off here now. See how that stuff looks. We get all this cleaned up and get some shots outside. You can see all this house has an overhang here, like a raised ranch. That's what freezes underneath there. And that's what freezes them lines that come under that overhang. All right, I got the stuff here. Let's see what it is. <laughs> it is about 28%. Scale over to the right there. 28 percent that's good you know you know freeze lower than that that's just um, we'll stop moving uh, that was 10 gallons antifreeze that's fine I think I put in eight last time and it didn't freeze so it's green flushed it out the best I could. Yeah, about 25%, 30%. That's, you know, that's good for a house like this. We're good. We don't want to put too much antifreeze in it because then it ruins the stuff. I put in 10 gallons, plus I had a little bit in my bucket of a gallon or so. I changed the water feeder, the relief valve, two high vents on the boiler drain, and the expansion tank. The expansion tank was still good, but I changed it anyway. And you can see where it was dripping. I cut them ends off the, the drips. Nasty. Nasty. This is on. Everything's purged. I just have to put the date and what I did here and it'll be done. No one, I thought he was here, but he's gone. That's all right. So I'll just call him and see if he has anything else. He wants I'll leave the see. I'll leave these strips here for him, but he, you know, I, I'm all. I always tell you guys what I do. Oh, yeah, I just. Have one. All right, we install no expansion tank, feeder, relief valve, high vent, boiler drain. No leaks. Put the bucket back just for in case. with the old stuff and with the new stuff.